Hey there, and welcome to Average Previews. Today's game is called Imagine Earth, and it is developed and published by Serious Pros, it seems. And the description goes as follows. In this sci-fi strategy sim, you build up global civilizations on distant worlds, harvest resources, and produce goods to establish space trade form alliances or wage economic warfare to take over competing corporations, to research to protect your colonists from disasters and avoid the climate crisis. Yeah. And um, so I have not played the campaign quite through yet, but the campaign seems to be a sort of a tutorial to the game. And it also seems to be pretty lengthy. Also, I have uh, on Yoma, that's the second planet I'm on, I have done three. I have uh, one objective un unfinished because it se seems to be bugged. I have tried uh, beating Yoma about uh, three to four times. And the objective is, in case you play this game, the objective is uh, to earn 20,000 through resource trade at the spaceport. I have earned quite a bit more. And it never progresses for some reason. Anyway, uh, my luck with... As my luck goes with the uh, average previews, uh, when, I, when I'm playing a level-based game, chances are that whatever I start recording at will somehow be really difficult. So let's go to Ronos or Raunos and probably get stuck. Planet Ronos is an uncomfortable space rock. However, it is full of precious raw materials. Our company, Imagine Earth LTD, is financially on the ground and depends on the success of this mission. I handed over the operation command of this mission to Lima. Good luck to all of you. You mean all, Leah? Ladies and gentlemen, a lot will change under my leadership. Only to the better, of course. We're entering the atmosphere of Ronos. Grab your seats. So this is a space colony game, and... As you can see, oh damn, they really hate it here. Damn it, we had to make an emergency landing. Not enough fuel for a well-planned approach. So, we could use some help. Fortunately, we have spotted a few life signs. Try to get in contact with them. W, Q, R, okay. So, claim land. So I have to claim this first. Should I claim the gold deposit or titanium? Guess gold is better uh, at first. Oh no. It's asteroids start falling immediately this time. One of the planets taught me how planets work. So the scans are right. This planet is already inhabited. <laughs> Sorry, I don't understand. Build a science district next to the camp to explore this culture. Okay. Science district. Right here. And I also need power. But I don't know if the game will allow me to. Build or use power. Research. In the campaign the research seems to be permanent or persistent. So basically because I repeated the uh, Yoma so many times, I got uh, a lot done here. 
Uh, let's research what? Greenhouse upgrade. Sure. I really like the idea of these uh, planet type uh, simulation games. Uh, one of my dream games also incorporates something like this. So I need. Brutes. Krosh, Krish, Braz, Krievrus, Brutes. Hey, Doc, what's going on there? Hard to say. The locals seem to be unhappy about the development of their surroundings. Maybe you can do something about it. Brutes, Krosh. Donate something? Uh, those won't help. I don't think. So, what license should I get? Coal power plant has two spots. Gas has one in my territory, one is over here. I guess the coal power plant is fine then. And boom. Oh wow. That was really slow of you. I got the lithium asteroid. Well, that's alright. A wildfire is damaging your colony. This culture reacts with riots to the unwanted foreign buildings in its immediate surrounding and sets them on fire. Oh great. You can appease them with donations or by planting forests. Uprisings can be suppressed with border towers or security complexes. All right, now we know. So... I need to build the frontier tower. And I'm gonna build it over here so that this becomes part of my territory. So that I can build a security complex over here, next to it. Where is my security complex over here? Oh. So I should have instead researched that. Interesting. Yeah, the cool thing about this game is... I'll With the dominance of this frontier tower, you can also suppress the riots in nearby native camps. I'll show you later. Uh, the games uh, of the campaign, you can basically play an infinite amount of times in the sense that uh, the competitions mode that was in the menu before, that is basically the gameplay loop, or the game space loop and uh, you can use you can create your own pal planets there or you can uh, use planets the community has made or just use the randomize button uh, which is probably what I will do because that's how I like to play these games so I really like the idea of randomizing these planets, like the biomes would look different, the hazards would be different. Everything would be so different. So basically unlimited amount of uh, playability. Let's make a stone quarry first, I guess. And over here, because stone is nearby. Also, of course, a warehouse and a spaceport need to be in my territory. They also need to... this. I guess this is fine. Or is it? I 
think it was fine. Yeah. I know that this is destroyed right now. I'm gonna rebuild it and uh, the maintenance station will take care of it. A going forward. Still don't have enough power. Now I have enough power. Perfect. This is an ore deposit. And this is a uranium deposit. To cut this down and then I can build a city district next, next to it. So it seems that this will be have a lot of uh, meteor showers. I guess my... I'm kind of protected right now. Oh, so I need this. Oops. My bad. So this is uh, against the uh, laser impacts. I can't have both, unfortunately. Yes, please. So I'm gonna uh, destroy this, uh, these trees and then, dem then you have to demolish it. Because it all grows back otherwise. Although this is fertile soil, so it isn't great, but eh, that's fine. Let's make another power plant. Clean these two up. Oh, my city center doesn't have upgrades, but I bought it with upgrades. So it should have them. Never mind. I think I disabled them, not... No, I didn't. Interesting. My bad. Just send Hi. me everything you have left over. I have a fa fair few stuff. A destroyed frontier buoy. It can be reconstructed with a bell tool. Yep, I just need the money. Because I don't have any at the moment. And I got the tech license. Good. Wood factory... Guess that's fine. Let's build a food wood factory. Right. I don't have the money. I guess I need uh, more city districts. Also, I could uh, just mine this lithium asteroid. And also gold. One of these is over here as well. This is a Gaia temple. So basically the game 
also has some supernatural stuff. Let's just make it super fast. For the purposes of presentation, I should have probably done that uh, from the very beginning, but eh. I think it's fine. Mostly. Although I am losing money, so that's not so good. The novelty from the labs. The Ideon bomb has enough explosive force to blow away big mountains. Literally. It does. What can we do for you? Take my gold and lithium. Thank you. My coal and building materials as well, please. Oh. Well, that's fine. I just need po more people. That's about it. Oh, hello. An ocean citadel. Don't think I have that yet, do I? Uh, wrong button. Oh, I, I guess I can see this. Have a positive emissions balance and build a colony of 4 million people. Whoa. I don't know if I can manage that, but I can try. That seems like a lot. Let's get this gold, this gold, both out of the way. Hello friends, Joe Decto is back in business. The company has been taken over recently. Haven't you heard about it yet? The new management focuses on growth and intensifies the internal competition. May the best team win. Not this guy. This guy was kicked out of the company a while ago. In a previous mission because he wanted to destroy the planet. Squeeze every last penny out of it. Yeah, this game is not subtle at all. Happen to have any Idean crystals on? No, not right now. But maybe I will find some later. Let's buy some of his shares, can I? No shares on the market. Self owned right now. Oh well. That's fine. We can upgrade. This is not researched yet. Anything else I am able to do? Yeah, this city center can... The new boss has announced himself. He will explain everything. Hi, I am Lean, chairwoman of Alien Investors Inc. This is a hostile takeover of your bankrupt company. The old boss got fired. This company is all about competition now. The departments with lower growth rates will be kicked out. Hey, 
You look so much like the natives on this planet. Well spotted, darling. I was born on Ronos. Could you help us communicate with your people? Sure. I will provide you with a translator so you can get in contact with my people. Hello, strangers. The tribe of Brutlets is willing to negotiate. Okay. In order to achieve maximum profits, we need fierce competition on this planet. I give you the financial district to do just that, to maximize your colony tax income. Alright, so I can unlock at the financial district now. Just think I just need something that can land here. Greetings. The tribe of Kwarzek is willing to negotiate with you. We should store industrial and consumer goods and offer them as a present to the tribe. Hopefully they will listen favorably to us afterwards. Sure. Something tells me that we should unite against Joe's dirty expansion strategy. Happen to have any Idean crystals on? I want it further away. Further away from my stuff. Reach one million six hundred thousand people first. Okay. So, just as I said, I would run into a, a mission that is somewhat difficult. Outsourcing. If that rings a bell for you, I just let the dirty work be done by cheap subcontractors somewhere else. Joe has outsourced his energy production to a spot with fossil resources that could be his weak spot. We could take over his outposts and thus stop his growth. With enough gold, lithium, and electronic components, we can craft a hacking kit. What? Okay. I don't expect the game to, to go that way. A hacking kit. So I need electronic components. Interesting. Hundred timber, please. Nice. We thank you for your goods. What do you think of an agreement? Will that work? With the signed nice. treaty, you may make use of our land in return. Please be respectful towards nature. The twin camp of the Quartzek also joins you as allies. Our tribe also offers tasty food. Interesting. But 
I need more building materials, it seems. Also, I can unlock electronic components now. I just lack the money at the moment. Even without upgrades, it's a bit expensive at the moment. No merchants have come here either, unfortunately. Construction costs. That would be amazing. Oh no, that was only 36. At the moment. Hey team, as you heard, my little company has been taken over by Alien Investors Incorporated. Thank you for your sacrificial work over all the years. Against this financial strength, we were simply powerless. But you can't get the good old boss down that fast. I started a delivery service for construction kits. These will allow you to place a certain building once if you can't afford tech licenses. Boss delivery at your... I don't really need any of these, but at the moment, because the health district would be nice. I need to be able to produce more electronics. Nice oil tax went through. What? I didn't even read that one. Thanks for all the goods. We're open for a treaty now. Use our land as long as you don't abuse our hospitality. The twin camp of Kurs also joins you as ally. Yay. More stuff I can build. Look what a strange ruin we discovered. Maybe you can have some kind of use for it. A frontier tower. Yeah, I can use it actually. Also, Ideon. My storage is full, of course it is. This is not going well at all. He will reach uh, the goal easily. Because I didn't think ahead and I didn't make a workshop. Time to buy, Mr. Freeman.
Let's see. Now I can make a workshop. And... I need 100. What? I'm not sure what that... I can't remember what that is. That's gold. Okay. So let's get more gold. An asteroid is falling onto one of your buildings. Where? Oh, over here. Ah, uh, that building is destroyed anyway, so that's fine. Kind regards, customer. Ouch. With a hacking tool, we can take over Joe's outposts. To do this, we must get very close to his frontier tower. We are pretty close here. Use the tower hack item to take over this building and its territory. The item is available at the tech trader. What's that? You hacked my outpost towers and took them over? You're gonna need more than to just cut off my energy supply. This means nothing more than a short delay to my... To your expansion, yeah. No, he just left. Oh. Well, that's a problem. Tech license. More types of food, please. What was that about? I'm not sure. A new technology is available that allows us to generate energy from sunlight. Oh, nice. Solar farm, but I can't afford it right now. You were just a bit too late. Telling me about it. What can we do for you, I can do it. But yeah, as you can see, this game is pretty... Um, the game is uh, interesting in the sense, well, I'm playing it relatively slowly, but... A tornado is damaging your colony. Oh, nice. That's perfect. But basically you just build up and... Uh, you... Uh, one thing I also like about this is this detail that uh, whenever, whenever you build districts, it connects uh, them with these roads. And it keeps connecting and connecting them, as you can see. 
It's all over the place. It goes uh, here from here and I think it I think that's pretty nice. So I basically have three minutes at the moment to... Oh. Can I afford to make another one of these? Does it need... 50 whatever that is? Lithium. No, I don't have any lithium anymore. Oh, I can have some. You came down, nice. Raise oil tax. Nice, that did not go through this time. But raise oil tax did. Nice. Time to buy, Mr. Freeman. I can make another hack. Also, yes, I can't uh, research and more than one. Uh, you can do as many as you have those uh, main uh, city centers. And I currently on this planet only have one, so I can only do one. I can queue only one uh, research. My energy supply is back online. Nothing can stop me now. Oh, I can. So I need to be adjacent to the area. Does this count? It does not. So basically I can't do anything anymore. Oh well. Oh actually. I 
guess it only works on towers. Oh right, this was the one I took over. I, but I can't take that one over for some reason. I can creep a little closer. Oh, that worked. Nice. How can you approach my base from this side? Are you in cahoots with these natives? Hooray! We took both of his outsourced energy suppliers. Damn, what have you done? Uh, this underdeveloped energy grid is collapsing under these voltage fluctuations. That wasn't part of my plan, really. We are not to blame for this bungle. This will throw Joe back for some time. Yeah, but look at how far he already is. But that's cool anyway. Hey, check what the drone has loaded this time. can do. Another level 2 warehouse, that would be nice. And I need to clean some stuff up. A lot of it is broken and stuff such in a bad state what can i get you sources to mine. There are a fair, fair few still around, so that's nice. to get rid of these as well. And these. Nice, let's uh, use solar power. Uh, when I need the more electricity, that is.
A. Check what the drone has loaded this time. Yeah, yeah. I guess everything that uh, affects me affects him as well now, which isn't great. But I guess I'm not uh, really based on oil anyway, so... So that's fine, I hope. Acquisition. Waterworks. It increases supply with drinking water. Nearby agricultural holdings benefit from the additional irrigation. Nice. So this waterworks increases supply with drinking water. Nearby agricultural holdings benefit from the additional irrigation. That's good. So maybe I ch maybe I can just about finish it. The glass factory produces windows, lenses and glass containers. For this purpose, particularly fine sand is used. Desert fields increase the productivity of the factory. Nice. Anything more to mine in my territory? Yes. There's another idea on somewhere, titanium and gold. And this city district. My energy supply is online again. Doesn't like things at all. Yeah, I guess I can't do anything anymore to you. So I just need to be fast now. A riot is taking place in your colony. Wow, 
service can we do for you? Where can I put this? So it isn't great, it's only 67. Congratulations, Joe, you are out of business. Oops. Your performance didn't convince me. What? Sure. Betray your best man. I leave you nothing but burnt earth. That ruthless bastard. Take over Joe's colony before it is burned to the ground. Since you have proven that you can build quickly, Ronos is now in your hands. The company needs both colonies in pristine condition. The goal is a stable population of four million inhabitants. In addition, it is very important to us to have Ronos as a long-term source of income. An even emission balance is therefore required. Here's a little infusion of cash so you can plan a bit more generously. In order to revolutionize the energy supply in an environmentally compatible way, our latest development comes just in time. Fusion reactors produce an enormous energy output and cause only small amounts of radioactive waste. The reactors depend on the resource lithium. It can be bought or harvested from asteroids. A wildfire is damaging your colony. Okay. So this I can also get the wind farm. And the sea farm. Colony. Now I can put two, as you can see. Let's repair everything. Let's clean as much as possible. Let's upgrade these. Perfect. So build a colony of 4 million. The max is 3.2 at the moment. As you know, I have put some money aside. Enough to build my own colony on Banka Island. A natural paradise. Enough minerals to make me a rich man. Oh, just give up already. Negotiate with Press. Where is that? An epidemic is spreading in your colony. Oh god. Joe feels too safe with his mines on Banka Island. He has failed to seal off the coastal border. At these places, we can crop the thicket and land on the shore of Banka. If we make our way across the ocean with buoy stations. That's an idea. Save Banka Island, tear down all mines. Okay. But I would like another landing permit to come somewhere over here. 
Lithium deposit. Yeah, yeah. Do I have any health districts? I think I haven't unlocked them yet. Go and get this under control. So much cleaning needs to be done, wow. medicine and what did I need for it I need coral for it right do I have a coral a nearby coral deposit yep I do nice to make two of these so one oh, I need chemicals and I don't have these yet uh, let's put these over here but I can make two so that's fine That's fine. I would also like to get the Gaia stuff. Landing permit needs 3.2 million. Okay. as happy as possible and then build more an epidemic is spreading in your colony another one why you need stuff as clean as possible because uh, the chance of epidemics ri rises when you don't have things clean looks like it's time for a special bonus mission there are great ideon crystal deposits on ronos they are invaluable to us Ideon deposits like these can contain small or big amounts of crystals. Deliver at least 500 Ideon to the command center, and you'll receive a generous reward. By the way, the natives on Ronos might know where to find deposits rich in Ideon. Oh, there is a tower hack over here as well. I did not notice that.
right. So I need to build stuff or use stuff. I need 100 more. I'm down, whoops. I uh, I was scrolled down. That was not good. So anyway, I think I can go to Bank Island now. At least partly. Um I need this tower. Then level it up. Oh, it didn't really give me anything. Can I upgrade any of my electricity stuff? Coal power plant, yep. Coal, nuclear, oil. Wind farms are completely unupgraded. Although I don't think I should really use all this. An incident in your colony. I need to get to 4 million as soon as possible though. Before this drops to zero. That's Frontier Tower. No. An asteroid is falling onto one of your buildings. Over here. I think that's protected. That's fine. Yeah. 
These aren't really... Right, now I'm over the gap. Nice. Need more food. Need more this. And now I can make my way to the Bank Island. I guess my population doesn't want to move in at the moment. Please get the four million. Oh, I have a landing permit. Another six months. This way you stay motivated. Nice, I did it. Six months? We have danced to the tune of unreasonable chiefs for too long. Professor Tustin and I will go into business for ourselves. I hope you will join us in this. All right. Save Bank Island and... This, these two I can uh, still do, so let's uh, complete them as well. Now, where are you? Graverl, Brosker. Your order. Right. You will be my ally now. For you, I need to find more ID, and I think I had some in my territory, right? No, I didn't. How far was it from my territory? I saw an asteroid. Oh, it is in my territory. Interesting. Why did it not work? Or tell me even. I'm slowly getting idea. That's fine. With that treaty signed, you may use our land in Mm-hmm. The twin camp of the Brillet. The financial district generates new financial products to fund unlimited growth. The income of surrounding city districts is significantly raised. Okay. That's fine. Any green spots for this? Nope. What about this? Nope. I guess this will be fine enough. How can you deliberately exploit your own home planet? Darling, if I was still sitting at the fireplace with my beloved people, others would come to squeeze this planet. And so you choose self-exploitation just to keep it under control? Is there any place in space where one could stay safe from competition? Nope. Marvelous. With the energy from Idean crystals, we run our light speed engines. 
Good job. You are on the way to make a name for yourself in the corporation. That's good. Now I need 900 more for the special uh, vendor. No idea if I can manage it. I also need to get the this to level two, so it uh, can touch the. Damn! How could you invade my island? I will expand my build radius with the city center to stop the invasion. An incident in your colony. Well, you can try, but I'm gonna put the boy here. So this will be my territory. A meteor shower hits your colony. Oh, I need to tear down all of them. So this and this as well. Interesting. Does this work? It does. Kinda. It's so strange that this actually works. Good thing this is a single player game, right? Without mines, Banka Island is worthless. I will hit the road now. There is a whole universe out there waiting to be exploited. Okay. Well, that's mine now. Oh. Never mind. available. It's insane.
Well, I have 300. A wildfire is damaging your colony. There is a massive deposit here. Get this. Any other deposits? Please. Oh, there is something. There is some over here. But I don't know if I'm able to get here. I am able to get here. A pirate ship is pirate ship for, city. City for your city. Okay. An asteroid is falling onto one of your buildings. Great. Can't really do anything against him. Because I don't have anything there. I need a science district over here. Did you? No. You're over here. Right, I have some more ITN for you. So I need 300 more. This would be such a nice thing to have. Yeah, I think uh, that this one full campaign mission shows plenty of what this game is all about. I have... We have the right... You go away, special merchant, please come. Thank you. Glad to have solid ground under your feet again. That's done. And now all goals have been completed here. Nice. Congratulations. You have successfully completed the mission. You can now return to your colony anytime to continue the expansion and raise the rating of your colony on this planet. It is also possible to mine the remaining Ideon crystals on the planet. Ideon provided 9 out of 9, objectives completed 5 out of 5, current rating 500,000, difficulty normal. Yep. Your efforts to build the Ronos colony in a socially and environmentally responsible way has not gone unnoticed. 
There is a chance that the USN will transfer the license for the colonization of the entire galaxy to your startup. By completing this special mission, you could finally convince the USN's colonization council. Interesting. And also, as you can see, I can get uh, a total of 37 ideon from this system, I guess. Or maybe it's just the campaign is the campaign total. But I need 24 for hyperspace. And I'm guessing it goes uh, away to a different galaxy from Andromeda and that will be more difficult. That's my guess anyway. This has 9 more. Interesting. When uh, going back to the this year, so you can may play sandbox mode, but you can also play competition mode, and there is Here also an edi editor. You get the special order to use the gigantic terraforming machines of the US. Here you can create the pal a planet with the elements, so how many fu uh, fossil fuel deposits it has, forests, etc. Uh, what kind of events and how often they happen, and the different rules. The usual. Here we and uh, competition mode is to regulate the settlement of newly discovered planets. The USN have introduced a call. Hey there. And uh, the competition mode is basically the same thing, but uh, here you actually play it. I just like to randomize the planet. As you can see, this is a more a frosty planet. You can also. Well, I guess you ch you do have to change this stuff, or maybe competition mode is to regulate the settlement of newly discovered planets. The U.S. It seems uh, maybe the com maybe the uh, uh, rules here change. Interesting. Oops. Yeah, so you have to still uh, set... Oh, what is that? You still have to set the rules yourself. And uh, then you can uh, randomize the planet that has these things that you want. I guess you can't... Truly randomize. I wish you could. You could, but... It seems that you can't. To regulate the settlement of newly discovered. To regulate the settlement of new. That's unfortunate. We're in a free sector of the unit. What do you have to offer? We're in a free. If true, that then that is unfortunate. Herewith, you get the special order to you. I think it would be fun if you could just uh, randomize all the values. At once, with, so that would be a nice addition, in my opinion. If it isn't in the game already, and I just can't find it. This this has been Imagine Earth, and uh, this was a full campaign mission. Uh, so, uh, so I was concentrating a bit too much on that, and didn't really properly commentate the session. Sorry about that. Hopefully you get an idea about what the game is actually about. So, thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you next time. Oh, and personally I think that it's a... It's an interesting game, for sure.